Hey guys, it's Quad King, and I'm back for another video. This one's a little bit different. You're seeing my desktop. That's because I'm going to record a short tutorial on basically how to record Minecraft with a Mac. Maybe you didn't get your computer for gaming like I did, like uh, me, and you want, you still want to record. You want to have some fun on Minecraft with your friends. Um, the best screen recorder is ScreenFlow, and that's $100, though there are other methods of getting it, which I'm not going to discuss, uh, but literally just look it up. Not that hard. Uh, another, I think, cheaper option, I think it's 30 I'm not sure. I was I had some framer issues with it, but I, when I was first trying to find a cheaper option, I found uh, uh, Viola on the App Store on the Mac App Store, and uh, that's not a terrible option if they fix the frame rate issues, um, but I don't know. I would stick with screen th screen flow. It's what I know. It's what I use. Uh, right now, I'm using a different screen recording program. Um, not sure what this is called. Screen record utility. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because <laughs> it's kind of glitchy, uh, but nonetheless it is working so obviously you're just gonna open up your uh, minecraft and I am playing on a retina macbook pro um, running mavericks and this my screen size is uh, it's a retina macbook pro so it has a 250 uh, 2560 by 1600 display which is really nice but it also is way too high to upload to YouTube so this is how I play I just press this little green button make it fill up my whole screen I my dock is almost always this size I never really hide it and this is basically what you want because later when you edit this in screen flow you're gonna want um, this to be in 720p or 1080p whatever you prefer minecraft really it doesn't matter i would just go with 720 um we're gonna go over the export settings in ScreenFlow as well so you want to open up ScreenFlow, and you want to configure recording as you can see i am using a samsung q2 microphone um and that's what i always use this little Record computer audio is what records the, the sounds in the game. So, like, you breaking blocks and uh, placing blocks and walking and all that stuff. You're going to want to check this button. When you first install ScreenFlow, you're, it's going to redirect you to a web page where you install a driver. It's really simple. Download it, uh, install it, and then you're good to go. Also, you can record video from a FaceTime HD camera, which I will not do at the moment. Uh, you have a thing to to stop recording after a certain amount of time, which is kind of a cool feature, but I personally don't use it all. So, uh, you are also, one more thing about ScreenFlow, you're just going to want to open the actual application. Um, you're going to want to go to Preferences, and you're going to want to set a pause hotkey, because that saves you a ton of editing of going up here and going, uh, pause. Um, no, figure it out. And this little shift, don't ignore it. Just use your hotkey. It works without it. Anyway, let's get into it. So, to start recording, you're going to press Command Shift 2. And it's going to give you a little five second countdown. Three, two, one. And then you're going to, then we're here. Um, so, let's create a new world. We're going to play on thetest.com. That's not a dot, but that's okay. So this is going to open up. And you, I'm just going to look at it. You're going to wait. Or you can be like fancy and cut this out, which I'm not going to do because it's a tutorial. Downloading terrain. Look at this beautiful dirt background. Whoa. So right now I'm getting a lot of frame issues. Uh, because I'm rendering a, rendering a world and using two screen recording programs at the same time. Um, but obviously, I usually get like 40, um, 
40 to 60 frames while recording. You can also limit that really easily by going into your video settings and just turning this down to your what you want. So you want to record at 60, put it on 60. You want to record at 30, which is um, you know the norm basically for Minecraft. Uh, then put it at 30. So say you know you get your wood, you're ready. You're like oh that was a great episode. Now let's go away. Let's just be done. Wow, I built this amazing house. It's like, it's incredible, it's incredible. Alright, you're going to end the recording the same way you started it with Command Shift 2. And that's just going to open up this. And there's the recording. Now, this is the part that really confused me when I first started doing this. I was trying to record on full screen which made it look terrible on YouTube because that little player that comes up when you click on a YouTube video that had black bars on it. You don't want that. You want it to fill up that whole space. So what you're going to want to do is go 1280 by 720. You can also alternatively, and you're going to press enter, uh, but you can also alternatively go, uh, what is it, 1820? Is it 1820 by 1080? I don't remember. Either way, if you're on a MacBook, God, is that what? It, 1920. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Either way, I'm gonna put it back on 1280 by 720 um, because that is what I use and that is the norm for Minecraft and most videos on YouTube. Um, so you're gonna, I uh, yeah, I would leave that on. Click apply. Now you're gonna be like, wait, but now it, you only see the middle of the screen. This is where the resizing comes on. You're going to want to make sure you have your screen recording uh, selected right here. And then you can resize the video. And for this, you're going to want to be as precise as you can. But it's, re it's really not that hard. Uh, once it gets really small, use your mouse wheel or um, the scroll function on your trackpad to stretch the video clip so it fits this display. You're going to want to take out that little top bar like that. And there you go. That is Minecraft in 720p. Um, so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here and be like, blah, 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 ha, ha. you can actually publish it directly to YouTube, but that actually takes longer. I would, well, not really compared with the um, exporting I think it looks better if you export it and then upload it it's just easier for me because then you're dealing with YouTube and you're not dealing with ScreenFlow's integration with YouTube and I don't know it's just a better experience for me so that's what I do you're gonna want to export it at okay so I've made a custom preset but what you're what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to manage and you're gonna want to press this little uh, plus button right here and um, Plus, or you, sorry, you're gonna go to Web High, copy it, and then you're gonna name this. So let's name this one 720p p p. There you go. Okay. Now, copy of Web High. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure what why that does that, but it's not gonna save your name. Just type it in again, and. There we go. So you just have to click out of it. Sorry about that. Uh, so you're going to want to set your frame rate to 30 FPS because that's going to look fine. This is what you're going to want to change. Uh, the kib um, kilobits per second, you're going to want to make 5,000. Uh, that's the standard for 720p on YouTube or, or it's somewhere around there. Um, that will be fine in your videos. Honestly, I don't think it makes that much of a difference um, if you go above 5,000 on 720p. If you're doing 1080, uh, I'd recommend somewhere between 8,000 and 10,000. You can go above that, but that just increases your render time. Uh, for the ACC audio, you're going to want to put your sample rate on 48 because that will actually increase the quality of your audio a lot, and that is something you want. Uh, so once you do that, you're just going to press OK, and 
then you're going to want to go to dimensions and originally it's it's just going to be on scale by but you're going to want to press scale to custom and tw type in 1280 by 720 um, you shouldn't need to use any letterbox content if you have done this correctly so then you're just going to export it and you're going to want to rename it test of screen flow and save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it um, I will pause the video or I will um, yeah I'll pause the video here I'll play the clip that we just recorded and keep in mind it's not going to be that laggy in your recording unless you have an older MacBook um, that was just because I'm running two screen recording programs uh, but I will um, see you guys in a second Woo! so hey guys it is exported it took like two minutes not very long and you're gonna get this little uh, mp4 file and if you double click it it will just go directly into your um, QuickTime player and it's going to look fabulous if you want to make it full screen this is how all the professional youtubers uh, videos look on YouTube I didn't edit that quite correctly but it's really not that big of a deal So as you can see, the video looks very, very nice. Um, obviously, just be a little careful if you're um, when you're cropping. I was kind of careless on that because I wasn't using a mouse. I was just using my trackpad. And this is not an important video. So, uh, But I just wanted to make this because a lot of the other people I've seen on YouTube when I was first trying to learn this did not explain it well. And I just wanted to make it completely clear what you have to do to make a good looking minecraft video on a mac so that was it um, i was just gonna re recommend um, if you so for video quality ha having a good uh... screen like good picture is obviously probably the most important thing but your voice is also really important so you're gonna want to get at least decent microphone you can pick up some at like Staples for like $15 that have pretty decent sound quality. So try to get one of those if you're serious about recording or you're just doing it for fun with your friends. It's always nice to listen to someone who has a good microphone. So uh, I do hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped. Um, it would have helped me when I was first trying to learn. So I uh, hope you find it. Oh, and if you're wondering, I did take this photo and it's beautiful. So, uh, I'll see you some other time. Probably not, but uh, you should go check out my Minecraft videos. I play on a private Wesley server called the Kevin server, and we are taking applications till um, September 8, 2014, but they might be open if you're watching this a lot later, so go there. Bye.